In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make my infamous gut healing meat stock. Look at that liquid gold. And I'm gonna show you how to make it super gelatinous, just <laughs> like this. It's very simple to make. All you need is a pot and three ingredients. Lamb shanks, salt, and water. Let's get into it. One of the reasons I love using lamb shanks for this stock is you've got the incredible bone marrow and all the bone and connective tissues in there. Not only does it create this yummy anti-inflammatory gut healing concoction, but you also get some incredibly delicious fatty lamb too. Mm. The only seasoning we're using is salt, so it's suitable for carnivores and people on a sensitive diet. The final ingredient is water. I like to use approximately 1 to 1.5 liters of water per lamb shank. This makes it extra gelatinous. Anyway, let's get cooking. Chuck your pot on the stove and we're gonna put two lamb shanks in today. That'll do, donkey. Next, put in two tablespoons of sea salt. Next, put your water in. I probably could have used three liters in this case, but I wanted to show you how gelatinous I could make it. And it's a really good idea to make sure your lamb shanks are covered. It's pretty easy. Just bring it to a slight boil for a little bit and then completely forget about it until it almost starts to boil over. I like to turn my lamb shanks once or twice to make sure it's evenly cooked throughout. Look at that bone marrow starting to cook. That stuff is just so good for you. Then just bring it down to simmer for about two to three hours. I want to show you something though. This is the magic. You can see all the fat and that deliciousness starting to form. That is your broth right there. The reason we cook these for only three hours instead of like 24 hours is the longer you cook meats like bone broths, the more histamines are released and less histamines equals better for anyone on a gut healing journey. The best way to know if it's done is to check on the lamb, try and pull it off the bone. And if it starts to pull off the bone like this, then you know that it is done. You don't want to overcook it and this really really does the trick. Very nice. Next, you want to pull the meat off the bones. I've made the mistake by leaving the meat on the bones in the fridge and it just becomes very difficult to pull apart. So definitely pull all of that meat off and make sure you get the bone marrow out as well because that stuff is invaluable. On the GAPS diet, we'll typically eat the lamb with the stock, but you can use it however you like. Okay, now pay attention because when you're storing the stock, what you want to do is pour it into a glass container. Anything that you're not going to use within 24 hours, I recommend putting in the freezer because the longer meat stock sits in the fridge, the more histamines develop. Ladies, in case you're wondering, this is the key to my heart. This is going in the fridge for a couple of hours so you can see how wobbly it gets. While we're waiting for that, I'm going to do a cheeky little taste test. Let's see how good this really is. Taste test. Ooh. Safe to say it was approved by the broth man himself. That's a good one. If there's any stubborn bone marrow still left in there, you can literally just suck it right out like a straw. Sometimes you might have to scrape it out. Oh my goodness. It's time to pull it out of the fridge and show you just how gelatinous it is. When people first start making meat stock, they get worried about the little fat and the bits on top. Some people might skim it off. Leave that stuff. That fat is so incredibly good for you. Plus it provides a delicious and good source of calories. Look at that. That is a highly successful meat stock right there. To reheat it, all you have to do is chuck it on the stove for a little bit until it's warm to your desired temperature. And this, my friend, is the foundation of the Gut Healing Gaps diet. You can have this on an empty stomach. You can have it with food. I recommend drinking up to a liter a day for maximum benefit. Forget an apple a day. How about a meat stock a day? If you love this recipe, give this video a like. And if you want to see more videos, please feel free to subscribe. Cheers to your health.